just doing a quick day trip into the, the Moore Mountains here in uh, beautiful County Down. Just going to have a wee look about. Um, I'm here with a couple of friends, so um, I'm going to do a wee bit of day trip, find a good camp spot, and do a bit of cooking. So here we go. Okay folks, um, I've just seen this here flower out in the woods here. This is um, probably one of the most toxic plants you can ingest. This is a foxglove. And you can see there by the distinctive uh, flower, it's like a wee bell. Basically they look like purple bluebells. And if you eat it, you're going to get really, really sick. So don't do it. Um, one thing to keep an eye out for is the leaves. The, um, whenever, whenever I first came in here, I thought maybe we'd stumble across some primroses, but then we spotted the flower, and then we knew it was definitely a, definitely a foxglove. But um, whenever, whenever the primrose and the foxglove don't have their flowers, you can easily get them confused. But the one way to tell the difference is the veins here. I don't know if you can see that, but the veins actually run towards the end of the leaf on the foxglove and on the primrose they edge out to the sides. So that's one way, one way of telling the difference between a foxglove and a primrose. You don't want to get the two of them confused because it's something that you'll you'll definitely regret. So I'll just look at that. Well folks, we finally made it to the river. Isn't that beautiful? Okay folks, um, we've made it across the river and um, what we're going to do now is set up a wee shelter and get a fire going and then hopefully we're going to have some food. Um, beautiful area, fortunately some idiots have left some rubbish. Every time you see it it kind of makes you mad but what can you do? Um, so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to get to work, get our fire going, get our shelter built and that's us. Okay folks, so uh, we're going to get our fire going. Um, 
Well, we're, we've got a stone circle here, and I've just built up a wee platform for the fire. And uh, what we're going to do is make a TP, TP fire. And as you can see, I've got all the materials to store it here, so it makes it easier. It's always good to have that. So, let's get this going. Right, so what we need to do now is get our tinder. That is just some lint, dryer lint, soaked in Vaseline. So this will be disgusting. Ugh. Just a glob of goo, really. That's it there. Try and get some of the Vaseline off it as well, because that's that's really the stuff that we want. Because the Vaseline will burn. It's... I think we're probably enough there to get us going. So what the method that we're going to be using for starting a fire is just the, the old favourite Ber uh, Gerber Bear Grylls Survivor Knife with its integral ferro rod. And this is a really fun way of doing a fire. So we've got our fire going nice and rightly now. So uh, all being well, lunch shouldn't be uh, too much longer. So yeah, it's going well. But uh, what we have here is actually we've built a little pot holder. It's um, it's just a, a stick being supported by a Y sort of stick, and then held in with like an anchor point at the bottom. Just again like a like a V shaped stick, and I mean, this is, it's quite a primitive arrangement, but it is actually very effective and we're going to put our belly can on it and it'll be good. Okay folks, um, just down at the river and we're going to get some water in our belly can uh, just for boiling our lunch. So, first time I've ever used water out in the wild, but uh, this should be real fun. So, <laughs> Look at that mushroom. Not sure what it is, but if anyone can identify it for me, I would really appreciate it because this forest is full of them and if we could eat them it would be really sweet. So, give you an idea of our campsite. Look at that far. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a wee spider there. Just mind his own business. So I've just got some bannock on the go. And cooking it over the fire. And uh, yeah, it's going to be good. We've also got some chilli on the go. And uh, we're going to have frankfurters as well. So it's going to be quite a feast, that's for sure.
So we're just getting our food on. So we've got, got our hot dogs, our bannock, which is, I'm sure you can see that, it's coming up quite well. It smells delicious as well. But this is what it's all about, you know, just being out in the woods with some good company and good food. Okay folks, so um, it's starting to get a wee bit dark now, the sun's going down and uh, we don't want to risk being out here in the dark, so we're going to head on. We've had a good time, we've had some good food, good fire, and uh, yeah, we'll be back. Today was only meant to be a, a recon, and I think we found the perfect spot, and we've had a good time. So, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.